Although from the outset it might seem as if uh, Ivan Zulueta's Arrebato is more of a broad social commentary than an explicitly political endeavor, I believe this scene contains allegories for Spain's collective historical amnesia in the period after Franco's death. The scene begins with Pedro literally interrupting Jose as he nearly slumbers, an important context for the rest of the scene. The suspended hypnagogic state reflects a desire to dream amidst an inability to fall asleep, and serves as a metaphor for Spain's inability to collectively encounter the past in order to proceed wakefully into the future. Instead, Jose here is stuck both physically, barely leaving his position in bed, mentally in a heroin daze, and also in a historical moment, yearning for a way to memorialize the past. When, he, when Pedro arrives, he and Jose use heroin as a way of slowing down their rhythm, and metaphorically slow down the rhythm of social change to this heroin-induced motionlessness that will allow one to reflect on the past in relation to the present. Correspondingly, we hear a frenetic tone slowed down to an ominous heartbeat, as if both Pedro and Jose have their fingers pressing down on the pulse of the nation after Pedro takes a line of heroin from Jose's bedside table. When Pedro asks Jose about his movies, his purpose becomes clearer. It could be said that Pedro's question about film parallels a belief that only through cinema can Spain truly reconcile its collective historical amnesia. As the scene continues, Pedro asks Jose if he can... Pedro's explanation for uh, the pause could be interpreted as um, saying that our only chance to deal with the history that everyone strives to forget um, but cannot move past is, uh, is through pauses in cinema. It seems that Pedro's efforts at cinematic innovation strive to capture, through rapture, a lost sense of history and purpose. Porque con mi familia no hablo. Ellos están bien. As they lie in bed together, Pedro folded over Jose, there's a strong sense of homoeroticism emanating from the screen. I would argue that this homoerotic relationship is yet another allegory for an inability to move beyond the past. Freud considered homosexuality to be a form of arrested development, and here a homoerotic relationship between two drugged-out filmmakers symbolizes the arrested development of the nation-state of Spain. Tan solo cuando no hay más remedio, me meto unos polvos de esos 
que me rebajan el ritmo. Pero a mí no me gustan. Me hacen crecer. Tú deberías tener más cuidado, ¿no? Te veo muy mayor. Pero las minas del rey Salomón están bien. Ve. Venga, vamos. Me coges el jersey y el abrigo. They walk down a darkened hallway together, uh, a seemingly endless birth canal for a new nation-state that they can't quite reach, and uh, eventually they wind up in Pedro's room, diving into a um, compendium of personal history, uh, here allegorical for national history. Pedro's room is fully engaged in a process of historical reconstruction, this perpetually burning fire symbolizes his constant attention to the past. Adoro dar con los objetos clave, y no es fácil. Ni siquiera con los propios. Es peor con los propios. As Pedro opens his chest of comic cards, uh, this obsession with childhood becomes even more obvious. A ver si es verdad que te gusta tanto. After reading his favorite, King Solomon's Minds, he looks up to Pedro, who points a doll at him with blinking lights and then winks. This wink is playful, but calls attention to the homoeroticism between the two of them, and also indicates something deeper about history. In this small gesture, Pedro suggests that he holds the key to progression and innovation, and that key lies in the relics of childhood, such as a doll, or these historical cards. As they've perused these historical cards together, the camera zooms closer in on the images, each of them suspended in print and thus in history. So by pausing real life in cinema and becoming enraptured, one can interpret a dynamism within this apparent historical static, and it's here where Pedro articulates a thesis statement for the film. No estás tan mal. Pues de eso se trata. Comprendes. Nada de recuerditos. As Pedro says, it has nothing to do with memories. And this is to say that the historical past is not past at all, but is, like every history, a story, continually being rewritten. History is not made up of memories, but made up of interpretations and retellings which exist in the present. And by pausing his films in the present, he is able to witness the dynamism within a posedly static historical moment. So here, too, the viewer can understand the dynamism of Spain's history, ostensibly frozen in motion, but actually continually reckoned with in the present.